face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up guys and welcome back of course to another episode of Who Was Really Better. And of course before going into this episode I'm going to say this. I've been avoiding this episode for quite some time mainly because it wasn't too long about to talk about of course Swampert versus actually Seismitoad. But I am fully aware of that while they have the same typing, the same benefits of the typing, they are vastly different. Seismitoad and Swampert are offensive lead of this typing combination, while Gatron and Quagsir are the defensive response to this typing combination. So while they're same typing, the same benefits of the typing, they work very, very differently. And yeah, what else can I say? Quagsar has always been famous for, of course, not being that offensive as Swampert. When Gatron was introduced, of course, in Generation 4, things got kind of steep between these two because they were so similar, and they still really are. Aside, of course, the possible stats in combination, they actually learned similar things and are very hard to tell apart by that alone. So with that said, let's, of course, go over the typing itself. The typing itself is one of the best in the game, ground, water, does of course solve uh, one thing with of course the um, water typing, which of course get an immunity to electric. But also the ground combination just help it that the ground typing is no longer of course a waste of the lives of water and ice. So the resistance itself are fire, poison, rock and steel. So we have four possible things it can actually take really nicely. It is super weak to grass, it's the only weakness that of course transpired for both the typing. But the typing combination alone is one of the best in the game. It's definitely up there with a combination of course such of course the steel and bug combination isn't as good, but it still is one of the best in the game due to only, of course, one weakness in mind. Now, when it comes to their abilities, this is where things get kind of funny. Um, Gatron gets, of course, Sand Force as, of course, a hidden ability from Generation 5, and then it has Sticky Hold, which, of course, make you ensure that you don't lose your item for Elizabeth Naka, for example. And, of course, Storm Drain. Storm Drain boosts, of course, if you get hit by a water attack, it boosts your special attack by 50%, or, you know, a plus one. So, um, nothing to it. Storm Drain, clearly the superior hero, the definition of the better one, definitely. While Quagsar has his regular abilities, Damp and Water Absorb, and get, of course, unaware in its hidden ability. Now, Damp, of course, makes sure you can't use a Lights of Explosion against it, and Water Absorb clearly recovers 25% of its HP if it's hit by a water move. So, it's very clear from the get go, as is how this Pokemon was introduced, that they have the same idea that the boat should have a water immunity outside of, of course, their of course, combination of uh, resistances and immunity that it is. So, it's kind of funny. It definitely is a self check possibility with them, which makes them fairly interesting at the same time as. It seems kind of lazily done because they're so similar only by abilities alone. And then of course Unaware with of course a very strong ability, but of course ignores every stat raise or decrease in of course opposing Pokemon's uh, matchup, which means that if you are going for Dragon Dance, those Dragon Dance is not going to boost your attack or speed whatsoever as long as Quagsar is on the field. So it's a very strong ability and definitely make Quagsire a lot more scarier. Since of course it wasn't that much to tell them apart, but that definitely did help it. Now, of course, with their abilities out of the way, it's very important, of course, to mention their stats, because they are very, very similar. While they do pick at different things, it's very clear that they are in born very, very similar, of course, the fact that, of course, Luke just said HP. 111 on Gatron versus 95 on, of course, Quagsar. Quagsar still has a lot of HP, even though Gatron clearly has more. When it comes to attack, it's super similar, 83 versus 85, not really a lot going on there. When it comes to defenses, though, we have 68, of course, Gastron versus actually Quagsire's 85. So it's very clear that Quagsire defensively, or physically defensively, can take a lot of few hits better. As, of course, when it comes to special attack, Gastron clearly a bit in 92 or 65. It's no competition, really. Special defense, Gastron has, of course, 82 versus 65. So we peek at different things, as I stated previously, it's very clear that Gastron takes special defense possibly better. And when it comes to speed here, they're both a freaking darn slow. They're both a train trucks, basically. They're, I mean, we have 39 versus 35. While the Gatron is faster, the speedster itself is not as impressive, and a very few Pokemon that necessarily are outspeeding. Though it's very clear that these two Pokemon are defensively involved with a lot of HP and Bond 2, and with, of course, have mixed defenses, and, of course, a few peaking in its, of course, offensive stats, but not by a lot. There definitely aren't famous for of course offensive capabilities but more the defensive states that they can take and retaliate and they're both doing this very very good so it all comes down to whether or not of course their move pull are different but by stats alone gastron seems to be the overarching better one because it is physically or especially oriented 
at the same time as of course they special hits and has more HP while Quagsire due to course unaware is able to take more hits more reliably with ever even not being able to be set up against which is definitely important to remember Quagsire still has a relevance even though it has to have the same peaking stats as Gastrodon. Now when it comes to their move pool it's not even funny trying to go over it because I actually gone over it and over it and over it to see what actually are different between them that are of course like as you said viable the thing is here, they are so similar in what they can learn, and it's definitely on the level of kind of <laughs> kind of annoying to try to differentiate them. Now, of course, they both get Recover, uh, which is definitely one of the stature here. They both get Amnesia, they both get Curse, they both get, of course, Earthquake, Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, and uh, Skull, of course, and uh, Surf. That's it. Like, they also get Infestation, they both can Stockpile. <laughs> They both are encounter, uh, so I just keep going. It just it gets kind of annoying uh, because, as stated, there are so few things it does that sets them apart. Now, of course, with that, I said they are their stature valuable move. Recover is one of those things that definitely is important with them since already they are so defensively accurate. And of course, compared to course, of course, uh, Swampert and the Seismitoad, since they have a recovery and this defensive typing, these are of course what makes them both viable. But the thing is here, they get viable for the same very reason. So with that said, we're going to of course talk about the few things that sets them apart. So we're going to actually start off with Quagsar first, because Quagsar has actually a few unique moves that does make it kind of viable. Uh, it does have Haze, which is something that Gastron does not learn. While it has done aware, you want to utilize the light of water up so you can of course hinder that with of course Haze in mind. And outside of that, it does get Ice Punch and uh, we have Focus Punch and we have Iron Tail if you want to utilize that. It also gets Focus Blast if that's something you want to keep alive with. But outside of that, there really aren't that much going on. It does also, of course, get, I actually forgot about this, Encore. Encore is very good for a, you know, a stall out environment, so that definitely works for it. But that's really about it. That's the only things that this Pokemon gets that makes it kind of unique. Now, with that said, Gastron is not very different here, but it does have a few moves to, of course, to let it, of course, be a bit more niche. Because, of course, while Quagsire did, of course, get Haze, Gastron actually got clear smog, so it has some things, of course, not be completely set up upon. But outside of that, there aren't that many things going on. Gastron is far from the Pokemon that people hype it up to be. It does get the likes of, of course, uh, Acid Armor and also gets Memento. So it has a few moves. It also gets Mirror Code. You want to try to utilize that. But that's about it. That's the only thing that sets them apart. And trust me, that's really not a whole lot. They are both so similar to a fault, really. And there aren't, like stated here, so many things that just make them unique with that in mind. But that is the only moves that sets them apart. None of it really necessarily just make it out to help it become even more viable. And it's already stature moves that already foretold them. So with that said, it's all now going to boil down to, of course, which Pokemon are by default better. And here is where things get kind of interesting. But as stated, their stature sets here are either that they can curse up or they can set up an Ishias. Or they can just recover and have a course dual stab or filler with of course toxic. That's what these Pokemon do, and then rarely do they change. They don't need to change. They don't have the stats to change that. It's what they do best, and do they do both of these very very similarly. So what it boils down to is of course how much is unaware worth versus Gastrodon, because as stated. Uh, with Gastron, you always want to have either something like the Earth Power Skull combination with, of course, Toxic and Recover. Um, that's the thing, though, that that set is definitely easy to set up upon. Unaware, of course, solves that. And if you want to use Gastron like that, maybe Clear Smog is a better option. But that means usually that you give up Toxic. And that could be a definitely a devastating hit for Gastron if you're using or going up against a setup heavy team. But with that said, how much does that solve for, of course, Quagsire? And this is what it boils down to. Quagsire is most certainly the more viable Pokemon in a stalling environment, but it's very, very dependent on its teammate to pull that off. Quagsire alone as a Pokemon does not change too many facts. It can stall out matchup, it definitely solves that, but offensively, it's really not that scary. Warp Sword does not solve too much with it, and Unaware is usually what it's forced to use to be able to be capitalized, of course, in the matchup it can be facing. Gastrodon, while it is easy to set up upon, it isn't as reliant on the team it's going to be holding up with. Storm Drain means that this thing hurts a lot more if you switch it in right. And of course, it's already a high special attack. It's not forced to stall. You're not forced to use Toxic to actually capitalize on this already excellent typing combination. And with Recovery Mine, 
I will definitely say that Gastrodon is the superb between these two. And it's really all about that Gastrodon is offensively scarier than Quagsire. They are exactly the same by Moopool, there really aren't anything that I would perfectly say that sets them apart. I'll even go so far and say that by Stall Out alone, Quagsire is always going to be the more reliant one due to Unaware alone. It definitely can help out teams in higher tiers due to Unaware, but if it comes to just it capitalize on what it already has, Gastrodon, due to its extra offensive of capabilities, are definitely just overall stronger than Quagsire. It can do a lot more, it fits a lot more team because it can do much more stuff without being reliant on any type of teammates and that's definitely the main perk of Gastrodon and this is why the reason it wins in the end. Now with that said, what do you guys think? I mean these matchups are very very, dif very difficult to kind of capitalize because they're strong at different things but they're still very much the same. So much so that it's actually annoying trying to actually capitalize on which one could be better because they are just the same. It's the ability to set them apart and possible peak in special attack. That's real about it and that's kind of frustrating to define which one should be considered better. But with that said, thank you of course as always so much for watching this episode and of course make sure to check it out next time where we will look at these two.